2018 is going to be a great year for LEGO Star Wars fans. Not only have we gotten some awesome sets so far, but there's many more coming in the next few months, including three exciting new ones revealed on RebelScum.com earlier today. So the first one is one of the two new sets based on Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, and that is 75215. The Resistance Transport Ship, a.k.a. the U-55 Orbital Load Lifter. This will be a smaller set similar in size to 75175, the A-Wing Starfighter, and will retail for somewhere in the $30 to $40 price range. Also included are five minifigures, some new, some old. One is C-3PO, and a similar likeness to his A New Hope variant. A Resistance Trooper from 75177, the First Order Heavy Scout Walker. A new minifigure, Kaidel Coconix who is sporting a recolored signature Princess Leia hairpiece, of course, General Leia Organa, in one of her The Last Jedi outfits, which one has yet to be revealed, and Nian Num in his The Last Jedi outfit as well, plus he's set to get a new head mold. That sounds very exciting. Next, the other Last Jedi set is 75216, the Throne Room Duel. Obviously, this is a key location from the film, and this set will be designed like another Throne Room Duel set, 75093, the Death Star Final Duel. It'll retail somewhere between $40 to $60 and include five minifigures. Ray, who will be the same minifigure from 75179, the First Order Heavy Assault Walker. Kylo Ren, who will have a redesigned face with sweat marks. Snoke, who will have an angry face this go-round. And two elite Praetorian Guards, which I'm presuming won't be the same guard. I think we'll be getting one resembling the third guard and one resembling the seventh guard. Lastly, we have Save the Best for Last, a Clone Wars set, in fact, one of my favorites. 75217, the Republic V-Wing Torrent Fighter. I never purchased the first V-19 Torrent set, 7674, but it's a set I've always wanted, so I'm very excited to be here and will be getting a new version later this year. Additionally, this set sounds huge, as it'll be retailing for a price somewhere between $80 to $100, but as such, it'll be containing a lot of cool goodies. The V-19 Torrent Starfighter is, of course, a given. It's in the title, but also we'll... We'll be getting a new Clone Wars era Stap speeder and a brown speeder bike, as well as a rack to hold the um, ladder of a tube. I guess it could probably hold both. Additionally, you don't just get five minifigures this time, you get seven. One standard battle droid, one droidica, who will now have a stud shooter. Not sure how I feel about that. A clone pilot, presumably one with phase one armor. A redesigned Captain Rex, which I believe will feature his original design, but is stated to have a new helmet, a new cauldron, and two blasters. And Commander Cody who will also feature a new helmet with an orange scope bar, realistic detailing, and a blaster. I also think this Cody will appear with his Phase 1 armor, just as Rex does, but again, that has yet to be revealed for sure. Lastly, you'll get two well-known Jedi warriors, Plo Koon, who will have a new head mold, some sort of fabric skirt or something, and of course, a blue lightsaber. Secondly, my favorite Jedi since 1977, Obi-Wan Kenobi, in hopefully his Clone Wars design. He'll have short, dark orange hair, white and tan paint, and his blue lightsaber too. It's unclear, however, which design this minifigure will sport. He did, after all, have two character designs in the Clone Wars TV series, so I'll have to wait and see if it's either his early outfit or la reflecting later his later wardrobe. But those are the newly revealed Star Wars Lego sets coming out later this year. If you want to check out the original source article in full detail, the rebelscum.com Rebel Scum article is linked below in the description box. Let me know which set of these three is your favorite. And of course, God bless, and I'll see you next time.